Test now for young Greg Matthews. He replaces Maguire. But it's certainly going to be a baptism of fire for this young man. Going against two of the greatest batsmen in the world. And Viv uh, is going to try and get on top of him straight away. Which is very good tactics and exactly what you would expect from Richards. If you can get one to turn, you have got a bit of a chance. But don't bowl there. Oh, he's hit that beautifully. Nine runs coming from that over. It's two for 77. Rodney Hogg is the successful bowler. Two for 16. Maguire has none for 15 from four. And he's really clouded that one. It's right near border, but clearing his head. That's one of the problems with Clive Lloyd. He can hit them straight at the fieldsman and clear their head, no matter how big the ground. And that's come off the edge, clearing Marsh's diving glove. And away for a boundary. It's two for 92. Beautiful stroke and a great piece of placement there. The man at uh, deep point has to come around to deep cover. You have to be quick. Well, that was good chasing, but uh, not so good with the throwing. And Rodney Marsh is uh, telling him there to bounce the ball, get it in quickly, get rid of it, and bounce it rather than throw it in on the full. And way out there was Graham Yellow. Got a bit of added pressure there. Good running between the wickets by Royd and Richards. Lawson is a great outfielder. Fumbled under pressure, looked up. The vital moment. Gave away a run. Man at deep square, Yallop. Put it down. He took a marvellous catch in the test in Adelaide. But there it's gone for four, and that might be one the Australians regret for the rest of the day. And that was a big disappointment for the Australian team, because with the white ball, he was placed out there for the big hit. Yallop made his ground well enough, and at the last minute, didn't take it clearly. Well, that could have been one of the all-time dismissals then. He smashed it back at Vivian Richards. It went into the air, and Matthews was aware of the situation. If he could have got his hands about that, he would have had a freakish court and bowl. McGuire comes in now to Viv Richards. Safely away, Yallop is going to do the chasing, but uh, he'll do it, yes. Well, he didn't have it in his hands, I don't think. <laughs> We'd need to see that again. Graham Yellow did well on that occasion, but he also fumbled as Richards pointed over mid wicket. Well, that's an interesting one because his feet were in the gutter when he knocked that back the second time. Now, five fills me inside the circle for Richards, trying to cut off the singles. Very good shot. Yallop trying to cut it off. Well, he's having a problem out there, Graham Yallop. He might have made a lot of runs this year, but uh, here this morning he's put down one catch and fumbled uh, two others. That one went for four. It wouldn't be unfair to say he's fielded like a girl today. He's really got in the dither out there. He's got to the ball well enough, and then it's been all slide and through the legs and knock-ins and fumbles. Two extra runs to Vivian Richards. That's Border. Oh, oh, badly positioned himself there. It hit the fence, so it was definitely catchable. One of the rules of cricket, if you're fielding in the deep, you look at Rodney Marsh, he says it all, you must be on the boundary line. Lloyd smashed that and Border's taken two or three seconds to get back. 
and he didn't get back far enough the ball hit the top picket and that certainly was catchable.